Hey, hey, hey. Welcome. Come on in and join me. Terry Ann Hyman here. This is the live stream for my podcast, The Empowered Spirit Show. Come on in and join me. We'll focus our energy for the week. Talk about what's going on and look to the guidance of the cards as well. So come on in and join me. Let me know that you're out there. Give me a thumbs up. I know on Instagram now there's so many little buttons you can push and so many fun things. So let's share some of that and let me know you're here. Welcome. Welcome to the show this evening talking about focusing our energy and how we can use this force of energy to move forward, move through the changes that we want to move through. Looking forward on Facebook. I'm also on Instagram. So, hey there. How is everyone? Interesting week we have. Nothing really too intense, but the energy is building for sure. All right, here we go. So, if you want, share it out. Maybe you know somebody else that needs this, that would like to focus their energy and learn a little bit more about who they are and what they're doing share it with them. I'm going to share it right now in the Empowered Spirit Circle. The circle's growing. Come on over. You can always find information in there on what's going on. All right, shared it there. So just take a nice deep inhale and start to tune in to how you're feeling this weekend. Start to tune in to what's going on for you. We're going to call back our energy. We're going to align with what's going on. Got some interesting cards. All right, on the timeline, in the group, there we go. So welcome, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in, joining me. Hey, Cindy. Hey, Jackie. How is everything? So as we open up to this energy for this week, just kind of take a moment and notice where you are right now. How are you doing? The light's increasing. It's growing. We brought in some new intentions. We're working with all of that eclipse energy from last month. What's your word now? Has it changed? Did you pick a word at the beginning of the year? What are you noticing you're working on and working through? All right, we have a pretty productive week, all right? The moon is in Taurus, so that's grounding, that's helping us to get that work done, especially as we start the work week Monday and Tuesday. Really great time to be productive, to really work with your intuition on doing those new intu in intentions and starting some of those. But remembering, all right, one thing at a time. Let me just be productive that way. One thing at a time. So as we go into the work week, Monday and Tuesday are really good days for that. Wednesday, we get a little more social. Our energy kind of shifts a little bit. And then as we move into the end of the week, we do have a little bit more of that emotional energy. I know it's Valentine's Day on Thursday. And we're going to be into that... Um, we're going to be into that emotional coming towards cancer, moon and cancer energy. So be loving to everybody. All right. It's not just about lovers. Be loving to everybody on Valentine's Day. Open your heart to people. And also just, you know, if you are in a romantic relationship, careful of your boundaries. All right. Sometimes these kind of times can um, create some disappointment in what we want or what we expect. So mindful of your energy on Thursday. And then as we move into the weekend, we're building towards that full moon. It's going to move through cancer energy, which is emotional, intuitive. And then it's going to open up to Virgo energy, which is highly intuitive and highly of service. So we have some interesting work to do this week as we get through it, but a highly productive week for you. So what is it that you do? What do you do to try to start moving forward in your manifestations right now? Those new intentions that you set at the new moon. What are we trying to do? How are you getting this through there? Living my truth. I love that, Monique. I love that a lot. Decluttering like crazy. All right. Very good too, Jackie. When we move space, yeah. Working with that energy this weekend, clearing out, starting to anyway, our family home. So yeah, it was a pretty intense weekend for me. And one of the things, you know, one of the things that I've noticed is a lot of resistance to change. How many have that, right? We're moving through a new year. This is a bridge year. We've talked about that. 2019 is stirring things up. A lot of people are talking about change. And I noticed for me, there is a little resistance, all right? And kind of honoring it. Thank you for showing up. What about you? Have you noticed any resistance for yourself? And how do you work through that? How do you work through that resistance to get through some of that fear? That's what a little bit is for me, right? All right, everything is changing. How do we work through that? All right, here's suggestion, detox the body. Yes, switch up your diet a little bit. Let go of some of those things that keep you stuck in your habits. Food is one of them that will, that is for sure. I love that suggestion, definitely. And I think too, for me, it's like, you know, really... Working with our energy body, working with our breath, meditating. I think that those are the things right now. I know for me, going through grief and mourning and 
just really coming back around to who I am, that quiet time, so I can listen and hear and really do the practice. Very important. Sitting with ourselves and bringing that in, that will help the stagnation for sure, right? Monique, that's one of the things that we don't want to happen, and resistance to change holds that in our body. So we're going to see this theme really throughout the year as we're moving through into 2020. It is a bridge year. We are asking to be changed. We are asking to really find ways to shift our energy and look at things differently. There is abundance out there. There still is. There's fortune and good luck. We just saw that with the energy of the earth pig coming in. But how do we get there? All right, we can't keep doing it the same way all the time. So how do we get there? How do we open up to that kind of energy? And those are the things that we go deep into our meditation about using our intuition to find out those energy and those that energy for us and those ideas that we need. All right, sometimes we can, having this conversation, sometimes we can, you know, not know our own energy and not know what it is that we need. And so we're taking in other people's or we're thinking with other things. So really knowing your energy, using your breath. Are you an empath, right? That is probably a big question for a lot of people this year that they're going to be discovering that about themselves, right? Connecting with our higher self. Yes, I love that. I love that higher self connection. It really does help to guide us through what we're going through. That is really, really important. You know, and helping us will do that when we connect with our higher self, when we connect with being quiet, we can be more productive. We can get some of the things done that we want to do. But sometimes that resistance comes in. I know. I know for myself it does. And I know I've had to do a little bit of extra tapping. All right. I did just do a podcast last week, Procrastination or Productivity, your choice, right? It's a mindset. I did a podcast on that. And actually the event got moved from the snow. So the actual event will be on... Wednesday, down at Forge, downtown Birmingham, it will help you with this resistance to change. It's one of the things I've been tapping on a lot. What is underneath my resistance? What am I fighting? What is the stagnant energy? What can I let go of? And these are the things that we tap on. All right, so definitely check out that podcast if you missed it, because it will for sure help you to bring forward your new intentions. As you let go of the fear, let go of the old energy, you can then one step at a time go forward with these new intentions. And actually, I'll just give a shout out to the Tapping Solution. Their World Summit 2019 starts very soon. I don't know the direct dates, but I know I shared it earlier. But it starts soon, and you can learn more about this amazing technique. All right, it's great to learn about it. It's great to have someone help you through it as well. But check it out, Tapping Summit 2019. So I will be down there. Check out the podcast if you missed it as well. But these are the tools that we can practice. These are the things that can help you learn about your energy. You can read about it all day long. This is why I talk about spiritual literacy. But the important part is that you actually practice. You actually sit with yourself. You actually bring in the energy to help you do these kind of things. Definitely. Today, I'll say, I was working with one of my teachers, Patricia from the Kaushik Records, and we did a bunch of crystal meditations. And I will say, my crystals are shining so bright now and feeling that vibration of attraction. So sometimes we have to like renew some of our tools and really get into it. And actually, we talked about this on the podcast this week with Annie Damsky and Emily Maynard. Their Fearless Fest is coming up. Self-care is so important. It helps us to be fearless. It helps us to feel good about ourselves and build that community. And we were talking about that. It's an opportunity to try new things or maybe even go back and do something you haven't done. But taking care of yourself is really important. It helps everybody around and everybody within is really kind of what I'm trying to say and help you within so everybody around too and that is how you build a community and that's exactly what the podcast was about their events coming up on the 23rd and the 24th it's almost sold out so definitely check it out if you're local in the area so these are the tools that we want to use as we move forward we get out of that stagnant energy and we open up to the week that's coming up so let me know like what are your tools what do you do what's your favorite go-to I'd love to hear that as well very interesting question so as we open up tonight, our meditation I'm going to do, because actually for the Fearless Fest, I'm doing a sound bowl and restorative yoga class. So I'm going to do a little sound bowl meditation tonight that I really want to help us to focus in on letting go of the excess energy. All right, letting go of some of that energy that that is getting in your way, that's prohibiting you from really putting your energy out there. So let's just do that, taking a moment, if you can, with me, and let's just gather our energy, calling it in from the week. Calling in all the forces, focusing, letting go of all that excess energy as we open up, light a little sage. And if you can, just close your eyes and take a nice deep inhale and bring the breath up the body. 
And as you exhale, send that breath all the way back down, deep into the earth. Inhaling, opening up the breath. And exhale, sending it back down, deep into the earth. Let the vibrations come in. And let us just honor where we are right now in the season of winter. Medicine where we sit in the direction of the north. We bring in our new visions, our new dreams. We honor our elders. As we anchor in all the directions to the north, the east, the south, and the west. Above us, below us, right into the very center. Taking a moment, connecting with your higher self. Calling in your spiritual body, right in line with the physical body. Just allow these vibrations to come in. Letting go with intention of anything that's not serving you tonight. Anything at all that's blocking you from taking a chance, from getting out of your own way. Just intend, let it go. Let the vibration open up and release. Continue the breath. Just keep releasing. And as you do, notice how that spiritual body comes in. Notice how your body comes into alignment. Just call back all the many parts that have been scattered through the week. Feel the shoulders and the shoulders, hips and hips, feet and feet. Feel that alignment coming forward. Just let the vibrations release out all that excess energy. Inhaling. Bringing that awareness back, letting the last sound come to silence. Just notice how you're feeling, bringing the awareness back, feeling that centering, perhaps a little more grounded. Good. So we do have some interesting cards and maybe you have a question, you can put it out there to the universe now. Maybe you've already asked, maybe you've chosen one, two or three. But the card for all of us to focus on this week, it's really a beautiful card. It's the 10 of pentacles, all right? It's a very nice card. It's a card of fulfillment. It's a card of really celebrating all that you've been working on. Don't just let it pass you by and get on to the next thing, all right? Let it, let it open up. When you first look at it, it looks like nines, but right in the middle is another one. So you go deep, go deep within, appreciate the work that you're doing. Appreciate the growth. Gratitude, gratitude, gratitude. It's beautiful alignment. The colors are all around it. Pentacles is our money, our earth, our work. So where can you really offer more gratitude and really feel that fulfillment for what it is you're doing? Now, sometimes tens indicate, most times tens indicate completion, but it doesn't mean we have to complete it right this moment. We can really, really take ownership of it, really appreciate the work that we've done, because generally this too then means ones and change, shift. But before you just change and shift, honor where you are, all right? If you have a little trouble, we'll look to the other cards. If you just tend to throw things away or move on to the next thing, this is going to help you really get to appreciate the work that you're doing now, all right? So if you picked card number one, this is the world. This is a major arcana, and this reminds us that you are good exactly how you are. Even as you open up to whatever challenges and lessons, we honor those. Thank you for showing up. This is how I learned my lesson. Don't beat yourself up. Don't put a lot of uh, that, you know, negative self-talk, unless you tap, negative self-talk, unless you tap. But really honor the fact that you are good and you are wholesome and love yourself. Thank the struggles. But the world reminds us of that. Look how it's surrounding you, all right? All around. It's a beautiful card. And as you remember this, then that helps to find the gratitude for the work that you're doing and all that you're building. All right. The second card, if you chose card two, 
Another major arcana, judgment. All right, so where are you judging your life? And many times when we do judge our life, we can't appreciate what we're building. All right, this card always reminds me of the forgiveness energy. All right, let go of the judgment. Forgive it. Go into that neutral mind. Don't have to always go into the negative mind. And this shows us the black and the white. All right, the more you stay in the black, the more you stay in the black. But look at it differently. Open up. Forgiveness freeze. It's uplifting. So as you forgive for maybe some of the difficulties and challenges to get there, you will offer the gratitude. And that's going to help you to do that. And then you're going to feel what it feels like and own that energy. All right. All right. The third card is another major. Drew three major cards. So this is stagnation. I mean, I'm sorry. I was looking over here. This is justice. Haha. <laughs> sorry. Justice. Another card that's asking us to look at both sides of the work that we're doing. Both sides of the situation. All right. Where can you look at the other person's view and where can they look at yours? Where can you balance that energy for yourself? And I think this balance, too, it's like that appreciation for what you're doing. Look at all sides. Own it so that you can appreciate it. All right? It's not so much about justice getting revenge. Not at all. But at looking at both sides of the story. Finding that balance. When you find that justice, it's almost like, you know, negative, positive, neutral. Where can you find that neutral energy? Because that's where you're going to grow. And that's where you're going to appreciate the work that you've done. Really important. That gratitude energy of really owning your work and really feeling it is what life is. That's where you're going to feel good about yourself. That's where you're going to appreciate it. If we push it off too fast and keep going to the next thing, we're always going to be wanting to go to the next thing instead of really owning what we have right in front of us. A really, really, really nice um, request. I mean, a really, really nice card. I got a quest, a view. All right, I don't know what that means, but oh, I don't know. Anyway, Instagram. Hey, Sin, how are you? Waving. Okay. So we do have some good cards to remind us. I love that. To remind us of where we are, right? We're in that new moon energy, what we're building. Things are good. We can do that. It's a really nice energy for us to be in. I really like that. <clears throat> So take a moment and see how this resonates with you. Let me know if you have questions. Let me know if you have some comments here. Let me know if you would like a card. All right. I can't quite see the comments here. Hey, Mayor. Hey, Paul. How are you? All right. So good reminders. Yes. Yes to the cards. Yes. Connecting with our higher self. Really good. So post below if you would like. I'm not seeing all the, all the comments. So if you have posted you would like a card, just repost it one more time so I can see it i'm only seeing like five comments and i see there's more so it is going to be a good work week a good week to get your work done all right again if you're in birmingham lunch and learn on wednesday i will be talking about productivity and how you can use emotional freedom technique to really get your to-do list done check out the podcast as well you can find it now on pandora yeah you can talk to alexa and say alexa play empowered spirit show and it will come up all right, you can set them up now that way. So I've enjoyed that. I've enjoyed people um, listening more as well. All right, Jackie says she would like a card. Thelma, you too, and Cindy. All right, so over here, Jackie, I'll start with you, and then Thelma, and then Cindy. There we go. All right, Jackie, Mother of Cups. All right, so an interesting card. It is about loving, nurturing, really about using your intuition as well. Swans have that grace energy. All right, we've driven, we've driven, we've drawn swans for the last couple of weeks, and everybody can relate to them that really picks them. It is that energy of grace. It is that light. It is that ability to foresee the future of what it is for you. And cups is all about our emotional body. It's about love too, but for emotional body as well. So as you open up to this week, find that grace that you can take in a little bit more energy about what the future is. Trusting some of that energy is coming to you exactly as it needs to. Beautiful card. Love it, Jackie. All right, let me know how that resonates. Thelma, the Empress. Good card for you. Align not only with the moon, but with the sun energy as well. Find that balance and put out that energy. Hang to it. Shine your aura up. I love that energy of that aura of the tree. So where can you align your energy with the aura of the tree as we grow through this week? And really work on that radiant body, all right? I've recently started back to Kundalini, so of course that's on my mind. But where can you really build that auric field? Where can you build that radiant energy for you, which then helps you to attract whatever it is you need into your life, all right? All right, Cindy over here. And then Monica Card Career. All right, so Cindy, this is the Cochrane over here. This is the Eight of Cups. So 
The Eight of Cups is not, it, it's a card that kind of indi indicates that there's some emotional energy that's done. All right, I hope that's not hard to hear, but sometimes we have to understand that sometimes energy is done. And it may feel like a mountain is in front of you. But as you move through and understand, eights are also into the potential that there is more that you can open up to. Don't let it be a mountain in your life. All right, does that help? Cindy, let me know if that helps over here. If you need some more clarification, let me know because there is some tender energy here when we get this card. But sometimes it can help us to persevere and push forward and have the strength of the mountain. Don't let it be a block, but have that strength. All right, let me know how that resonates, all right? All right, let's see who else. Sin said she would like a card in Mare, and then I'm going to come back over here. Kimberly, Kimberly, thank you so much. Lines up with the channeling. Excellent. All right, and Monique, I owe you a card in Kimberly and Mare over here. All right, Mare, you got the Mother of Swords. But it was upside down. All right, so sometimes I read these cards when they're upside down in a protection mode. So I love this card, though, because the Mother of Swords sees a lot of things. All right, instead of like most people, a lot of more things than most people, I'm trying to say. The thing is, is that make sure that it's not too picky. And because it's in the wands, don't get too much in your head. So it's good to see the details, but open up the perspective. Like open up the wings every once in a while. Be the wise isle and do see those details. All right, it's a good card. It is has some mothering energy. Just careful not to get too picky. And when it's in the reverse, that's what we call the protection mode. Reminding yourself, don't get too picky in every single detail. And don't churn them in your little brain, okay? Very important. All right, happy birthday. I think I heard you. I had a birthday, Mare. All right, Sin, and then I'm coming back over here. All right, Sin, the card I drew for you is the Four of Pentacles. All right, so this is a card. It's a good balance card, right? Pentacles is our money, our earth. It's a good balance card. For sure, but the thing that always comes up for me is like, don't hold on too tight to the energy, especially in the earth plane, the physical plane. Otherwise, it won't move and it will become stagnant. So just from notice that you have built up. There is a good foundation for you to draw on. Don't hold on too tight. I know what you're going through in some respects for, for you as well. I know it's hard to let go. But some of that energy right now, emotions are coming up for me too. We do have to keep this spin, you're right, just like our chakra is spinning. But if we tie it up, it's going to make it more stagnant. So lots of love to you, all right? But know that there is some balance underneath there, okay? I know it is hard. I know, I know, I know. Take a deep breath. I'm with you on this. All right, so back over here. Let's see. Kimberly and Monique, I think you were next in Kimberly. Regarding career direction. All right, let's see what comes up. All right, so we got the four of four of wands. Very interesting card. It is about passion. Fours are about balance. So this is telling you to go in deep. All right, look right into the center, right into the center of this card. Go in deep. Fours are about balance and alignment. This is passion and desire. So go in deep to your passions. That's the message. All right, don't settle. Go in deeper to your passions. It is out there for you. And again, go right in. All right, don't go on the outside. Look how that takes you right in, okay? Go for your passions. Let me know if that's helpful, okay? Kimberly, Kimberly, we have a full moon circle on the 19th over at Beacon. Yes, I didn't mention that. I saw you there last time. Please join us. Moon will be in Virgo next Monday night at 6 p.m. All right, Kimberly, this card is for you, and it's the Wheel of Fortune, all right? Now, the, it was upside down as I picked it. So the Wheel of Fortune always reminds us that things are turning. So even if we feel like, ah, oh, nothing's working for me, be grateful. Grateful, 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 because that wheel will turn. Don't forget it will turn. And so this is just reminding you in that protective mode. Again, life changes whether we want it to or not. Talking about this earlier with my friend, life changes. So don't despair. It will turn, all right? Just keep doing your work and keep trusting in the universe, all right? Yep, makes sense. Good. Thank you so much. All right. Hopefully that was helpful. Sin, I do know that was hard. Mayor says, cool. All right. Definitely. All right, everybody. So we do have some interesting cards. Don't be afraid of change. I say that as I say that to myself. Definitely tapping on that a lot. If you need some tools, you need some help, you can get a free guide on my website, terryannhyman.com. It's in the links. Let me know. Reach out. All right. Lots of activities to join me in this coming week virtual and in person so reach out all right check out the podcast they're really good this week we talk about what it takes to build a community a really nice really nice interview i was really pleased with the interview with annie and emily fearless fest coming up so as we go to close just take a nice deep inhale all right and again the message for us all this week is to find the gratitude 
for the work that we're doing, the fulfillment, the joy within. Don't be in a haste to get rid of this energy. Really own it. Bring it into your heart. Love you. All right. Love to all. Thanks again for listening to your spirit. Namaste. Have a great week, everyone.